Nice tag. Video games have always found a way to pull players into the digital world, but one man is looking to cross the barrier by bringing the adventure to you. Forget those red and blue specs, Next Tech brings you into the future where the digital world looks amazing at any angle. Game trailers return to the labs of Paul DeBevic to learn more about the technology driving the next generation of 3D displays. So you see a three-dimensional image when your right eye and your left eye get a slightly different view of the scene. And we've had a chance over the last few years to see this in all sorts of movies. That's not the kind of 3D that we're hoping to develop. And we want to be able to create holographic renderings of human characters that as different people stand around this virtual character and see them from different angles, everybody sees them from their own perspective. And we realize that the way that the light would reflect, we would actually get images of this object because the reflection shows it from all different angles because of that spinning mirror. And there's actually a duality between video projectors and video cameras. Uh, light transport can be reversed in a way that if you just take the inverse of this whole approach and replace your high-speed video camera with a high-speed video projector aimed onto a 45-degree spinning mirror, it actually will generate images of an object seen from all different angles around in a circle in a way that you can see kind of a floating hologram-like image without wearing any special glasses and everybody in the room actually sees it from their own particular viewpoint. Of course, a spinning display of mirror and glass won't work in everyone's living room or with pets around. Paul was only about to scratch the surface of the 3D problem with his next prototype. So our latest holographic-like display unfolds this optical path, and instead of spinning the display surface, we effectively spin the projector, um, but by replicating many, many of them coming in from different angles. So what we currently have is an array of 70 projectors covering about a third of the circle, aimed into, again, sort of an eight by 10 inch display surface. And as it reflects off of this display surface, it keeps the light pretty focused horizontally so the individual projector light doesn't mix in with each other, but it spreads it vertically so that you can see it no matter what angle you're looking at it vertically. We've solved that problem by using many, many video projectors reflecting off of the surface so that effectively there are all of these different views of the scene just waiting for you wherever you're going to put your head. So it's a relatively solid kind of effect. Paul's team is already using this new technology to preserve the stories of Holocaust survivors for museum visitors and classrooms. But there's still one more project that could bring true 3D technology to your living room without the need of glasses. So another way that we could create very realistic 3D auto stereoscopic displays without glasses is if flat displays could get even higher resolution than retina displays. And then you could aim very, very high density pixels through arrays of lenslets that would allow you to see different pixels from different angles. So in the course of maybe, you know, again, a tenth of a millimeter, you'd have to have enough pixels that that lens could aim different colors of light in maybe every single degree as you look forward and back. It would be good to have it even be every tenth of a degree if you want something to still be perfectly in focus even when you get a foot in front of or behind the television. And solid state um, display surfaces certainly have gotten surprisingly higher resolution so far. If that continues on for another decade or two, I think it could become possible to have a completely flat display surface that's not that expensive to build that could produce a completely convincing three-dimensional image that changes its perspective both when you move back and forth and up and down. And that'll be pretty awesome. See all of our shows and game reviews now on the brand new GT app on Xbox Live and the GT Originals iOS app too.